As expected guys, today was a wonderful day, even though prices are dropping. So we have to talk about, well as expected we will be on the right side of history, but first we have to talk about what just happened, and then about February 13th guys, in the month of February there's going to be a lot of external events going to occur, going to take place guys, so we have a lot to talk about today, okay? Pay very close attention, and please like this, please like today's video if you guys are, are going to enjoy it. Now. First things for first things first guys, breaking from this close CV. Justin, New York Community Bancorp stock crashes trading halted. Uh oh. Uh oh. What just happened over here, guys? This isn't looking too good at all. A bank collapses, bank implosions on the horizon. Look at their stock right here, guys. New York Community Bank falls 40% after cutting dividend by um 70%, guys. Right? They also reported reported a fourth quarter loss of $260 million while expectations were for a gain of that size. Now, listen to this. Tomorrow is the beginning of February, right? And it seems like February is about to start off really bad, guys, right? But we have to watch out for February 13th because that will be the marker. If the condition gets checked, Mark, guys, will run up. But if it doesn't, we're going to plummet because it seems like there's going to be a black swan incoming, guys. So let us pe uh, be very careful here, okay? Why? Look at their stock right here, guys. So this is the uh, New York Community Bank Corp, right? The bank. And it literally fell about 46, 47%. Can't make that stuff up, guys, right? We were talking about how banks will die. Literally die. Why? The, uh, the, the pessimism slipped over into other uh, bank stocks, such as Valley National Bank Corp. Share shares fell 10%, while the um, KBW Regional Banking Index was on the course for its biggest one-day drop since last May. If losses hold, guys, right? So these other, so these regional banks, guys, these smaller banks are about to bite the damn dust, okay? And things were not are not going to look too cool here, right? Are not going to look too perfect, guys. The economy is just doing well. As Jerome Powell have been has been stating, guys. So again, this is all. This is what usually happens, guys. Right? Well, maybe for XRP it's different, but for usually for for majority of assets, things go slowly, but then suddenly, right? XRP doesn't go like that. XRP goes dead quiet, shush, and then up right there, right? Now. Which means things do happen overnight, guys, right? Even though if it's gradual or overnight, things will happen overnight. Check this, check this out, though. We see RIP small banks rip. Rest in peace to small banks. Why? So we see a few different colors, guys, right? Uh, colored lines. Blue is um, small, small bank cash reserves plummeting downwards. Uh, green is large bank cash reserves going higher. And then red, this red line, is a small bank cash, right? Total assets. And it's literally dying, guys. So regional banks in Pearl, uh, once bank term funding program is pulled, guys, right? Once it's demolished, once it's destroyed, what's going to happen to these banks? Not immediately, I don't think. Maybe give it a few months after, guys, right? I mean, the banks are already collapsing, as we can see, right? Look, Just look at their stocks, guys. So now people are suggesting and commenting on that things are, about, uh, are starting to sound like 2008 again. All this talk about soft landing is about to go out the window, right? That's what happened previously as well, guys. They say that everything's fine, right? Stocks, the economy will go down quite well, guys. Um, and it won't be a hard landing where everything just plummets down, right? Like a black swan occurs. But usually whenever they say that, just look back in, a his uh, back in history, guys. The opposite always occurs. It's a hard landing, right? Which means a black swan took over. Bank Banks crash in perfectly healthy economies all the time. Here we go, guys. You'll be happy about it, right? No, they always have to take advantage of a certain crisis. People are now suggesting that has 2008 feels about it, right? A lot of credit that people unable to pay mortgages. Watch for CEOs who cash in, sell their shares, and run for the hills. This is very important. Why did Amazon, the Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos started selling his shares? Why is Mark Zuckerberg selling his shares? Why is BlackRock CEO Larry Fink selling his shares? Why are all these CEOs selling their shares? Because they know what's upcoming, guys. A plummet downwards. But first, I'm, I'm really hoping, guys. Why? Because I'm doing it for the behalf of the community. Hope, right? Hoping and having the belief we pump first before this scenario occurs, right? Before we dump for that black swan, guys. Because as we can see, literally, this is a major warning sign, guys, right? 
That's not good, guys. Right here, major warning sign that they even had to halt trading because of how bad it's, it got, guys, right? That's insane. It is a tr it is a rig system, right, when they do that. It's all centralized, guys. Oh, wait a moment. Good thing I remembered. This is why they're going to kill all these banks. Why? Or the smaller ones, at least. So the bigger ones eat it up, guys, right? So things become more centralized to the highest degree, to the highest order. Why? Breaking news, two major UPS investors worry about the bank size, right? When you have a balance sheet of more than $1.6 trillion, which is nearly twice the size of the country you reside in, what is too big to fail? What a movie, guys. Remember, um, Evergrande, right? Oh, man, this is this is not this. <laughs> this is horrendous, guys. <laughs> this is hilarious. I honestly just let it all die. I, I couldn't even care, guys, right? They will come in. The reason I'm not too worried is because um, they will come in with a solution, guys, right? So it may get bad. It may get very bad very horrendous in the very short term guys not now i'm not talking about weeks from now i'm talking about whenever that damn event occurs guys it's going to probably be quick and swiftly right and then they're going to come in with some type of solution so it, i don't know guys it's, it's getting horrendous out there but justin billionaire tim draper says there will be a bank run and we will be able to buy food and pay rent on bitcoin that's insane to me bitcoin no no go but he does say there will be a bank run guys i mean the signals are flashing, right? So let's listen to this. Let's see. So I, I miscalculated on how aggressive the U, how you know scared the, government, the U.S. government was running, and now they realize that Bitcoin is actually better for everyone. It keeps perfect records. It um, you know the, the people who they all thought were criminals using Bitcoin turns out they were all caught. So using dollars is probably better for um, for a criminal. Um, and, uh, so, and I think that there's going to be a moment where there's a run on the banks the way after the Civil War there was a run on. Uh... Interesting. This is a billionaire saying this, guys, right? I'm guessing a Bitcoin maxi. I'm not, I don't know too much about him, but he believes there's going to, there's going to be bank, bank runs, guys, right? Um, and that's not going to be looking too well. I mean, it should already begin, to be honest. Look, just look at these certain banks. If you're not worried about the smaller banks, guys, then I don't know. Now, now we have to wonder... Okay, will all the banks collapse, guys? I don't think so, right? JP Morgan, maybe perhaps Bank of America will die. If, if those top tier banks do die, guys, right, do do get cannibalized, I mean, they're going to be revived somehow, right? Because the whole economy is based off those banks, guys, right? Everyone has their assets in those banks. So there we go, especially those billionaires and the people who are the puppets within the system as well. So, but, but the smaller ones will probably just get cannibalized. To the full to the fullest extent confederate money and there was a run on the greek drachma and a run on the french franc when they became a part of the euro so I, I actually think that there will be a moment in time when i can buy my food clothing and shelter all in bitcoin and uh, and people won't want dollars anymore okay i don't know about that one that, that's that's insane guys but he, he may be right about the bank runs why because breaking america's largest bank sue the global federal reserve black swan coming guys this, this, again, all these are just warning signs, guys, right? It's flashing before our very eyes. Listen very carefully. There's a reason why supposedly they're suing the Federal Reserve. What? Hey, everybody, Crypto Hawk here. Now, this is something I've never seen. JP Morgan, Citibank, Goldman, they're drafting a landmark lawsuit to sue the Federal Reserve. Now, that's, that's very interesting because I thought they were all together, right? Like, all the top banks are kind of secretly buddy-buddy with the Federal Reserve, and I guess not. Like, I don't know. What's going on is this. The Federal Reserve wants all the banks to have like 30% of all their money put away. The banks are like, we already keep 10%. You know, they do that fractional reserve lending and stuff. Like you give them a dollar and the banks keep 10 cents in the bank and load out the other 90 cents, right? So the Federal Reserve is like, no, you're gonna keep 30 cents of every dollar and lock it away. Um, you know, I'm thinking the Federal Reserve wants to do this because when this black swan hits, these banks are gonna get jammed up. My name's Crypto Hulk. Interesting, that's why guys, right? Because of, I think, Basel III need, uh, needing more in reserves, guys, right? And, and, and the banks are not happy about that at all. To the point that they're trying to sue the Federal Reserve. That's insane, guys. Which is another indication of an, a black swan incoming, guys. Now, let's quickly talk about the Fed and what happened today. Okay? Call Jerome Powell. Why? Because uh, uh, Jerome Powell spooked the markets, guys, today. Right? This is why I stated today is very important. It will dictate where we'll head towards next. And we got our clue. Breaking Federal Reserve's uh, Federal Reserve leaves interest rates, cha uh, rates unchanged. Remains at 5.25%. And... Um, 5.50%, guys, right? 
five and a quarter to five and a half guys percentage uh, points. Now, again, we were as expected, guys. They were going to pause. Now, what's the next step? So, 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 first steps. The first step is we got a check mark. Beautiful. That's why I said today was a good day. We got a check mark, and the longer they hold, they hold these rates, guys. As as history does sh show, right, and it's proven correct. The markets go higher. Now this is very fascinating why they dumped because people got bearish that they didn't what? That they didn't over here. Um that that the Fed said said that a March rate cut is unlikely. But how is that bearish guys? I don't get it. That so the consensus we just figured out today is that people want rate cuts because they believe it's going to go higher after rate cuts begin. No guys, there we go. That's the biggest clue we have ever gotten. Until we see the rate cuts begin, the markets will not collapse. Until we see that point in time where there will be a rate cut, guys, that's when we will um, see a black swan occur. Okay, so the next, the next, the next, the next, the next, um, and that's why, and that's why the markets fell. But the next meeting is in 48 days. Okay, and it's going to be taking place. During March uh, March twentieth, twenty twenty four. So why do we say we have to watch out for February thirteenth, guys? It's because this is the day the CPI report comes out. If only if it's under expectations, guys. Right? If the number is below, let's just say if the number is two point something, right? Uh, previously it was three point four percent, I think. For inflation, guys. If it's just, just let's just say two point something, if it's two point something, that's the trigger, that's the condition that needs to be met, guys. Only, only, only. So if that happens, then the markets rally. If it doesn't happen, the markets um, will change its course, right? So for the much of March, they believe that is there's still going to be pause. But if inflation does come down a dramatic amount, this will rise higher, right? And they're going to cut that point, guys, at, at, during March. So this is why I stated February 13th, we have to watch out for. As we can see, inflation is, uh, rose back to uh, rose to 3.4%, guys, right, in December. Now, the interesting part is the sticky inflation narrative keeps deflating, though. Look at this. Now, for true inflation, um, the current percentage is now at 1.76%, guys, right? The United States reported 3.4%. You guys can see how it's going lower. Right, so this is why I say that even though the the markets may look bad, guys, right now, it probably won't when the report comes out. That's why February thirteenth is very important, guys. That's going to be the trigger. Whatever happens on that day, keep your eyes damn eyes peeled, definitely, guys. But I hope, I hope the riddlers, I hope they at least pump these prices up, guys, before that black swan does occur. If they don't, it's everything's going to get demolished. Now, even Senator um, Senator Elizabeth Warren urges Fed to lower rates to bring down housing costs uh, and stuff like that guys now mega uh, ultra long bitcoin right remember we are in that presidential election as well do they want to keep rates high all these things guys come on you guys already know the game plan so in the again uh, so in the end guys we have to watch out because there's going to be a lot of events february 12th is um ripple versus cc case february 13th is um cpi Report February 14th is AMM going live for the XRP Ledger. Wow, what a month, guys. Already, right? So let's see, let's see what happens next month. Now, the nature place. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys amazing. See ya.